Imagine your loved ones choosing drugs over you. Over 20 million Americans over the age of 12 have some sort of prescription drug addiction. This is a worldwide problem, and we need to do something about it as soon as possible. Today, there aren't many good solutions in the market to look for prescription drug addiction. The some that are there are a database of prescriptions that are bought so that doctors can check up on how many times a person is buying the same medication. And the second way is just by observing signs or symptoms of a patient. With the latest advancements and understanding of the human genome, we now have a better idea of the role of genes in addiction and illnesses. My approach is to look for a solution to the problem at a genetic level. Introducing Epione, named after the Greek goddess of soothing of pain. The device is built on the idea of detecting specific protein created by a gene that relates to addiction. The detection itself uses a standard immunological method, but I've built a portable device to make the process easier. The device consists of a Raspberry Pi computer with image processing algorithms, a controlled testing environment including a mini camera connected to the Raspberry Pi, and an LED with consistent lighting, all housed within an opaque container. And lastly, a custom Android app on a smartphone that controls the components of the device. When test sample is clicked on the app, the Raspberry Pi takes a high-resolution picture of a cuvette with the sample and sends it back to the mobile app. The app then saves and displays the image. It gives you the option to either share the image to send to remote technicians or analyze the image to receive the results. When analyzed results is chosen, in the back end, the Raspberry Pi compares the sample image to the base image of a normal protein produced by the mu opioid receptor. The app then creates a range of values that correspond to a certain level of addiction and shows the results on, to the user on a user-friendly scale with action items that they can take. In the future, I would like to test my device with OBRM1, calibrate my device, look at self-testing for patients, and meeting with physicians and scientists to find out a need for a solution. Most people have drug addiction or drug abuse because by the time they're already addicted, it's too late for them to do anything about it. Hopefully, with my device, I can solve this problem as soon as possible. Thank you.